Okay, so a few things that you're going to need to use as well are going to be Tween Machine. Now, the way Tween Machine works is, so once you've installed it, we can go inside uh, here down on the Mel, type mach machine with a capital M. Make sure you t make sure you spell it correctly. Put semicolon, hit S, um, hit enter, and you should get this right. So uh, it's a very simple concept. It's basically taking what existed from the days of you know 2D animation, and you've got this like slider here. And what it represents is when you're trying to put a pose, which is called a breakdown, which is you know it's it's very simple. Um, a breakdown is nothing more than if you have something in one position and then you have it in another position is what we will call a breakdown so whether that goes down or whether it goes up for example right so what what tween machine does is basically it helps you um, getting some poses out that are that could be hard to, to do um, so what we'll do is we will do a demo again with the orange rascal to show how we can do that so we'll just go back into okay so so what we're gonna do is on frame 9 I'm going to say I want you to be very similar to the very first pose. So you see that? I've selected all the keys and it's keeping him very similar. So then now we're going down here and what I want him to do is to say, hey, could you make this pose last much longer? So maybe go down back here and say, make it exactly like it. And then maybe we say, start to come out of it a little bit. Now I'm, I'm not saying that you, you, you should be doing this all the time for all the character, but it's definitely helpful when you want to like you know say stay closer to this now right so you see like I've made it shift back here 80, 88% similar to that previous pose and then here we can say I want you to stay closer to this and then maybe go closer to the end now it's not perfect but you can see how we managed to quickly shift around the time and the keys without having to do it on the timeline like we did earlier. So now you could easily just go in and tweak these things again. And we can just continue animating. And then let's say here with the legs, we can say, hey, can you, so we selected the legs and say, hey, could you stay exactly like the previous frame? And then we can just go ahead and animate it the way we were earlier. So it is a, a, a sort of give and take when it comes to animation. You need to like do the, the, the sessions. So what I would advise is if you really wanted to get better at animation, um, try and maybe use this character for uh, the rapid posing sessions if you're new to Maya. And if you've come from a 2D background, then definitely this will help. So what I would advise you to do is just have a play around with the rig and see what you, you know, end up doing. And it would be great to see your work um, posted as well. So yeah, happy animating.